Assalamu alaikum students I hope you are fine and safe I welcome you all in another lesson of Google Classroom Before we are going to start our today's lesson let's recap what we have done in our previous reading In our previous reading we have discussed about how the Portuguese they settled in Brazil they entered in South America and most specifically in Brazil and they settled their colonies over there Then we got to know about the Christian priest how they worked with the native people like with the Brazilians and they saved so many Brazilians or uh, uh, from Portuguese land owners and then most of the people in Brazil they are now Christians and most of them they speak Portuguese then we got to know about the Brazil word like how the Portuguese they made a dye out of those uh, out of that Brazil word and they used to dye heavy cloth like velvet <coughs> and then we also learned about some of the crops that were grown in brazil and we got to know about them by the native people and the priest writings so what we are going to do today we are going to start our lesson today and we we are going to do the reading of page number 88 and a half and 89 these are the pages which we are going to read today what we are going to learn we are going to learn about the aztec civilization that the spanish explorer cortes discovered in south america so we are going to learn about another civilization that is aztec and how the cortex the spanish explorer he discovered it in south america okay before we are going to start our reading you can see here this one map this is a map of mexico as you can see in the map that it is one of the neighboring country of neighboring country of united states of america so it means that it is somewhere near america so mexico is in south America is in the uh, south side of United States of America. In 1519 a Spanish explorer named Cortex made friends with some of the native people of Mexico. He took them with his army far into Mexico away from the coast. We people have some idea about the Christopher Columbus who uh, was an Italian explorer and he found out a place uh, known as bahamas near america and this is how he discovered bahamas and then he made their colonies in bahamas so same like that there is uh, another explorer whose name is who is a spanish explorer and he was his name is cortex and in 1519 he made friends with some of the native people of mexico so as we discussed earlier that the native people they are the people who are already living in uh some place where they in in the place where they were born and they uh, spent their whole life in that particular place so these are the native people so the people who are living in mexico they are known as mexicans so uh, gortex he made friends with some of the people of the mexico and then what he did is he took them away with his army so he took all the native people whoever he made friends with he took them away with his army far away from mexico and near the coast so he took them away from the coast so that he is going to study more about the mexico by taking knowledge from the native people of the mexico the people who are living in mexico they are the aztec the aztec people lived in mexico their leader was moctezuma and he ruled a large empire other tribes had to pay taxes to him tenochtitlan was his capital city it was built on an island island in lake texcoco with roads cause called causeways across the lake so the people who are living in mexico they are aztec people and we are going to learn about the aztec civilization so they are aztec people and they also have some leader and their leader name is moctezuma and he is ruling a large empire he was the ruler of a large empire huge empire but he didn't get taxes from his own people so he didn't get taxes from the people of uh, who are living in mexico who are the aztec people but he did take uh, taxes from other tribes who are the new tribes who are from different uh, civilization so he uh, ha they have to pay taxes to moctezuma now the capital city of moctezuma was tenochtitlan and it was one of the beautiful city of mexico and it is very a uh, beautiful city and a different city because it was made on an island and the name of that island uh it was made on an island in lake texcoco so there is a lake in mexico mexico whose name is texcoco and there was an island on it and on that island they have made a city whose name is tenochtitlan 
and uh, the the different about the different thing about Chano Tenochtitlan it's it it has roads with cause ways so cause ways are those roads that we use to uh, build across the land from uh, one island to another island so these are known as causeways let me show you the causeways how they have made causeways you can see a picture on page number 89 this is how the causeways are made specifically this one with the white arrow so these are the causeways how uh, the causeways are built on the lake Texcoco from uh, the city Tenochtitlan to other part because it was a beautiful city so some of the spanish sailors spanish sailors who used to do trading in tenochtitlan they have wrote about it the streets are wide and beautiful some of the streets are in the lake and people go along them in canoes the chief's house have many rooms and are amazing to see in one house there was a room by room big enough to hold 3000 people in one of the moctezuma's house there are cages with wild animals in them wolves foxes lions tigers as well as all kinds of birds there were big clay jars with snakes in them what kind of city city tenochtitlan was as the spanish explorer wrote it very beautifully uh, the streets of the tenochtitlan they are very wide and they are very beautiful so i'm sure it is very beautiful city some of the streets are on in the lake and people go along them in canoes so some of the streets are in the lake and people used canoes canoes are the narrow and small boat which is used to uh, which is used which is used by the people to go from one part one place to another place and then the chief house here the house of the moctezuma they are explaining it how it was like so the uh, Muktazma house it was a very beautiful house and it has so many rooms and they are so amazing to see and uh, Muktazma house is having a huge and a large rooms and in one of the, his house there was a room that is big enough to hold 3000 people at one time so one of the house in Tenochtitlan which is of Muktazma it was so it is having so huge room that it can hold almost like 3000 people at one time and then in one of the moctezuma house because he is a pet lover and he because he was a pet lover and he loves to uh, keep pets and some animals so in one of the house of the moctezuma there was so many wild animals that he loved to have in cages like for example he was having wolves foxes lions tigers and all the kinds of the birds that is in mexico then he also loved to have snakes uh, which is quite weird so and there were a big clay jars uh, with snakes in them like we used to have some of the snakes in the museum so he this is how they this is how moctezuma he was keeping snakes in his house Okay, now there is another picture on your page number 88. As you can see, this one picture. It is a ruin of a temple in Tenochtitlan. So there are of, of, obviously there are temples. They uh, worship some gods. So this is a ruin of ruin is the remain of some temple in Tenochtitlan. So this is I already uh, told you. This is how the causeways were built in Tenochtitlan in the lake Texcoco and this is how the Tenochtitlan looks like and this is one of the model of the Tenochtitlan which was made later on and was kept in a museum so this is how Tenochtitlan the city Tenochtitlan looks like this is how it is Okay, so this is it about your today's lesson i hope you people find it in, find it interesting to know about mexico about tenochtitlan and about moctezuma now you have to do question over question as well so question is imagine you are a soldier who has just come to tenochtitlan for the fir for the first time write about the city in your own words by using model map and what sailors wrote about the 
city so what people what you people have to do is you have to do this question by yourself in your notebooks and you are going to imagine yourself as a soldier who has just come for the very first time to Tenochtitlan and you are going to write about what type of city you find Tenochtitlan was you can take help from your page number 89 there are two maps one uh, picture and there is a model as well so you can take help uh, from it and you can also take help about what the sailors wrote about the city on your page number 88 and then you have to write it in your notebooks here is a video link by going through this video link you can get more knowledge about Tenochtit about Tenochtitlan and about the Mexico as well thank you so much for listening to me and have a nice day